Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with a dash of disaster. Today's video, I'm just going to be playing it. It's a, a event rerun that just came out, so I'm just going to grind it. It's weird because there's like two events going on at the exact same time. So, let's jump right into it. It is weird. It's not very often Dragalia does this, where it's usually when it's two events up at the same time, I have a lot of regular honey. I never noticed. I don't need all this honey. Just like... Yeah, I think this should be good enough. It's very rare for them to put two events that are kind of similar in nature. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to start doing more of that. I'm, I don't like it because... For one thing, this event usually has daily tickets, but the other stupid event has daily tickets, so this one doesn't have daily tickets. So it's very annoying. I would have preferred them to wait it out, but hey. Send feedback, right? That's all I can do. But yeah. Thankfully, this kind of event is pretty simple. You know, there's only so much you can do. And I already have it at level 30, so there's really not much I need to do. Here. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't be doing this. I just realized that I need to be doing the other one because the other one. I think. Let me let me double check on this, but I'm pretty sure they added levels. They usually add levels when they bring this event back, so I'd be very surprised if there was no levels on this one. Let's go here. Let's go to the halodrome. Take a quick peek inside. <laughs> oh God. Cool did not directly show me where the hell this- oh god, they need to fix this. Another thing to leave feedback for, the holodrome sucks for finding things. It is the worst for finding anything. How the hell am I supposed to remember where the fuck this place is? I leveled that up, cool. I didn't even realize that I was having it leveled up. Is this- nope, that's not it. Oh god. Am I just gonna click on all these until the right one shows up? Seabed. Opera house. Circus tent. Wine shrine. Yuletide tree. Sweet retreat. Is that in the storm house? No, I didn't think so. Um. Where the hell is it? God damn it, game! Why did you take me directly to it? Most of this video now is because we leave looking for this dumbass thing. No, Ilya statue. Oh, I'm going to find it. Just you wait. Okay. If you spot it, leave it down in the comments. And the first person to tell me where exactly the hell it was. Wait. No, damn it. This thing sucks so much. Is it this? It ah, oh, god damn it. Um. <sighs> Let's get back to it. But yeah, I need to do this then. I mean, you can do co-op and stuff for it, but I don't really need to anymore. I'm at a, I'm at a point now where it's just way faster for me not to do co-op anything. I ain't got time to deal with. People only looking for cheese or people who don't know how to do the fight. I'm very rarely do I get the right type of people I want, which are people like me, who are decently okay at the game, who just want to use the units that they like, and they realize that they have pretty good synergy. And they know how to use their character okayly. So not a lot of you not a lot of people like that. It's either you don't know how to play the game, or you're learning, or you just use cheese. Those are the the two. The two types of Dragalia players. Mine doesn't exist anymore. I need to put on um, auto repeat for this cycle, but I digress. I digress. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't really. I think this is the first to prevent rework where I was like, oh yeah, I guess they wouldn't really need to buff any of the characters on it. Because Valerio and Mitsuba are still pretty solid from what I from what I can remember. And people is a monster. If they were to mana spiral people, they would have to start worrying about balance in the game. 
because people is that strong. There it is. People, easily the strongest suicidal vegetable in the entirety of the universe. I demand you to find a stronger people. Actually, there is a stronger people. It's the one that exists in Princess Connect. Um, it's fat people, which I don't know if you've ever seen it, but apparently for when, um, when we did the Princess Connect event and there was a collab, Princess Connect got a people tree. And on it, there was like five people and one of them was a chonk people and it's... I'm just saying it's unfair. How come they got the good stuff? They got the big people and we got the big princess. It's not fair. Basically what I'm saying is that I want both big princess and big people. Is that so hard to ask? I don't know. You tell me. By the way, if you're still watching this, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't remember if I said that at the beginning. <laughs> I should include a um, a warning thing because because the amount of times I've said, "Hey, like, comment, and subscribe," it's kind of annoying. So what if I just left a reminder up in the video and then I had I could stop freaking asking? It is a real shame that that's the way YouTube is, right? The only, that's the only way for me to really grow is to do it that way. <sighs> it's a shame. I would just like to do ad infinite the stuff I like and the people who find who like my stuff will find more of me. So just doesn't happen that way anymore. I need to start making YouTube videos like one year after YouTube was released or something. I missed my I missed my window. I was too busy. The fuck was I even doing back then? Doing high, doing high school stuff. So, aka doing nothing, reading Naruto. How did you die? It's because I mentioned Naruto, right? You just died of embarrassment. Just kidding. Naruto is great. Um, yeah, what the fuck was I doing in high school? Not doing my work. That's one. Um, yeah, and reading Naruto off the desktop. I remember doing that. I had a special class where you had to go in and it's like, all right, come in here. This is to help do your homework. And instead of doing my homework, I just read Naruto on the school computer. It's pretty fun. Not gonna lie. I liked it. I just realized I did the wrong thing, didn't I? Totally did. It's okay. I'll go here. But yeah, I could have, you know, could have been something, man. Could have been... No, I couldn't weird uh, because I all the things I learned through school is what helps me make my YouTube stuff so just not not in the cards I don't know if you ever think about that it's like what if you would made different decisions in your life and how different would it be I sometimes wonder about that stuff uh, especially with the way stuff has been going lately I always think of like well if this person was here after dealing with so-and-so would they, uh, you know, it's stuff, maybe I shouldn't actually talk about it. It's stuff that goes in my mind where I, it's one of those things where it's like, it's dark out and there's no one left but me that's awake. So I'm just kind of left with my thoughts going like, hmm, you know, because so and so and so, I realized that this entire situation was always predestined to happen. It kind of feels like one of those things where it's like, not predestined, but it's kind of like, I feel like no matter what, I was set up for failure. It's like, because even if I had done this, but even at the same time, I also feel like sometimes the specific necessities for me to actually succeed, it all feels like it was all meant to happen or something. I don't know. I'm thinking too much. I think that's the basic thing of it. Maybe because of how crazy this year has been, I've been putting too much thought into it. I need to go back to mind-numbing work where all I did was talk about movies. And argue with, um, argue with my fellow co-workers whether a boat is a ship or not. That was a fun day at work. That was the only day at work where, um, <laughs> we were there for like six hours and I think five of that was spent arguing over the merits of ship versus boats. Not, whether or not a... The, the idea was, and uh, I'm, I'm bringing it up now because it's like, it's it was such a weird, it was such a weird stance to stay on. But basically, it was my coworker was saying there's no difference between a boat and a ship. Um, therefore, you should be allowed to call a boat a ship and a ship a boat, and it doesn't matter. And I told him that's a straight up bullshit lie. 
because <laughs> there's a reason there's two different words. It's because one can clearly be one and the other can't be. Um, so, I it's like uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the video. So he here here's a, here's something. If you made it this long, the next Regalia video is going to be me talking about this specific topic. Um, if you're interested, you should go check that out. Um, but for now, I think that's basically the end of the, the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed any of this. Tell me how you feel, do all that good stuff. But yeah, that's, that's the end of today's adventure, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.